listen to an ASMR video. I'm gonna listen to that. Don't make me laugh, okay? <laughs> Hi, hello, and welcome to the People It Takes podcast. I'm your host, Lauren Squires, and today I have another super special episode because I have a super special guest that I've been waiting a long time to get on this. He actually helped me come up with the name, and he's actually still bitter that it's not the name he chose, but I'd like to introduce one of the people it takes, Edward. You have to talk into your mic. Hello, my name is Edward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a PhotoPass photographer over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, I started as a college program kid at the ripe old age of 34, and I've been with the company for about two years now. We're going to get right into it. What year did you start at Disney? Oh, dear. Um, I believe it was the what was it, January of 2022. Yeah, January 2022. I did a five-month program and then immediately went into full-time photo pass over at Studios. And I have been there ever since. How long was your program? Uh, five months. Five months? Yeah, it was five months long. I took the shortest program because... Um, we're going to go on my backstory a little bit. I've been trying to get a job with the company for nine and a half years. I was told no a lot of times. Uh, I would apply for anything to get my foot in the door, but the, the goal was to be a photo pass or a photographer over at, at, at Disney, uh, regardless of where it was. Uh, I went back to school finally for IT, and while I was in school, after I graduated, they, uh, COVID had happened, and they had like a 24-month period where you could still apply if you had graduated within that, that, that time length. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot, I'll see what's going on, and I got in, to my surprise, I got in, and um, I just thought I was going to do it, but I knew I was either going to love it or I was going to hate it, I don't think there was going to be an in the middle for me, mm -hmm. and so I took the shortest program possible, and uh, it's it was the shortest program, it was five months again, and, and then I ended it in the summer, because I work at a camp during the summertime, and I knew that if I had done longer than that, there's no way they're just going to let me go for a few weeks and then come back. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, well, we'll do this, and then I'll figure out the camp thing later. And sure enough, it just it just worked out. So. And talking about the camp thing, um, what kind of camp is that? So it is Camp Soil Harris. It's a camp for diabetic children and adults. Well, ch children until they get into adulthood. But um, I think the age ranges go anywhere from 5 to uh, 18. And then, you know, that some of our campers decide to be counselors and, and you know, um, we go from there. I've, I've done the whole thing. I was a, a camper. I was a counselor. I was a, and I'm now they're like their media person, sort of kind of, I do their, some of their media stuff now. Um, but I go there for about three weeks every year and I've been there for 26 years. Dang. One of my biggest things and things I get asked about is your username. It's his <laughs> yeah. Instagram. You might know him from Instagram as the diabetes hero. Yeah, that's right. Um, you want to <laughs> go into that a bit? Uh, so actually it's, it's from camp. Um, they did not give me that nickname. That was a Nick, that was a, uh, thing that they had on a bracelet one year. And I think I was 13. They got uh, these, these baby blue bracelets that said the diabetes hero. Oh, that's neat. And I was like, Oh, that's pretty cool. That's mine now. And I said, <laughs> that has been my username for everything. My gamer tag, all anything I can use that for as a label. That's just what I'll use it for. So how many roles have you had? I've had one role. I have only done photo pass and will probably only do photo pass. Uh, I will, I just want to do something photography related in general. I don't care what it is, where it is, as long as it has something to do with Disney and photography. That That's where my goals lie across the board. Now, a lot of people would think that you would get bored just taking photos every day, but you've done like a lot more than that because I don't think people realize there's like a lot of things to do within the role. There are. So can you go into some of those? Sure. So, oh man, where to start? So <laughs> you, you essentially, it's, you know, you, you go out and you just photograph. That's going to be your main thing. Um, and then there's like different tiers. So you can become eventually, you know, a, a capture a moment photographer, which is the private, you know, mm -hmm. 20 minute sessions that they offer at Disney. Um, you could become a trainer or a coordinator that helps kind of keep the operation smooth and running and training new people to help, you know, them do the things that you were doing because you have that experience now. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, one of the portrait photographers over on the Halcyon. That was a whole different thing that you could you could try out for and see if you could get out there. Um, and then I also do ESPN's uh, sports stuff. They have uh, sports photography over there. Um, Does the that run include Disney Marathon? Races. Yeah, Run Disney. Uh, yeah, it okay. includes Run Disney. ESPN includes Run Disney. Uh, and when you get action trained, you can also do um, like sports. Like I've done volleyball, I've done soccer, and I've done football. Whoa. Uh, so those are just a few of the things that you can also do while over uh, here at Disney. So it really does, it lets you branch out. You're not just going to be the one person, you know, 
sitting in the one place the whole time. Yeah, you're not in front of the Tower of Terror all the time. There's tons of different areas and things to explore here, and you can kind of find your own branch and your own kind of way to, to go off into the area of photography that you would want to be in. So which one of those, if you could pick one, which one has been your favorite? Oh, Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge? Yeah, I mean, I get this question a lot. Like, oh, what's your favorite thing to photograph? It's always going to be Galaxy's Edge because there's so much more, like, diversity when it comes to what you can photograph because there's that's just make-believe land, right? Yeah. So it's just like... I can go there and I can use like, you know, lightsabers and use a whole different way of lighting somebody with that thing and make it way more dramatic instead mm -hmm. of just like a family of four just hugging and looking super happy. You know? <laughs> like there's, there's definitely a place for that, you know, here at Disney. But in Galaxy's Edge, it's just like a whole different world. And people come out there and they, they want to play, you know, a, as a part of their story, you know, and you we get to play into that for them. So I, I really, you know, have a lot of fun and take pride in a lot of the Star Wars photos that I take. Within Star Wars, towards the end of... It, it didn't last as long once you got there. <laughs> once you got there. <laughs> once I got there, it's my fault. <laughs> but you began training on the Halcyon Star Cruiser um, as a hollow scanner. I assume they call it the same thing. Hollow scanner image specialist, I think, image was the specialist. term they used a lot. Okay. Um, and those were the the private sessions they could book um, on the ship itself. Yeah. So how long did you actually get to work there? Oh man, um, I think from May up until its closure. So okay. I believe I was trained. I'd gotten trained and then, you know, I started shooting in, in May and then I went through until the, until the closure happened. And how would you compare that to Galaxy's Edge? Completely um, different or? They're, they're a hundred percent different, but in their own different ways. Yeah. Um, it's more, I would say the Halcyon was very, very much more story driven. Um, it was really cool to see what the people would, would come up with, with like their backstories, where they're from. They would hand make things and bring them with them and it was really interesting to see how intricate the these people who were aboard the Halcyon would get and it was really really impressive and it was even more fun photographing that because we would you know storyline with them and and kind of like play into their story way more you know and yeah. in Galaxy's Edge just like you, you sometimes have those people but most of the time it's just like oh I just you know built a lightsaber I want to look really you know really yeah. cool. we have kids dressed up as like Darth Vader yeah. you know that kind of stuff but on the Halcyon I mean they would like I mean, they, they would look, they'd, they'd be, all out. yeah, they'd be yeah. like aliens, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> like straight up, just like, just decked to the nines in, in special makeup and prosthetics. I mean, it was, it was wild. Those it were always wild. fun. The, the Halcyon days where they would let the guests into the parks. And so we would get oh, to yeah. see some of them all dressed up oh, yeah. and you could just tell immediately. Yeah, we would, we, I remember when, when that, before I was trained for the Halcyon, we would want to work the days that mm -hmm. they were out there. Yeah. And we wanted to like, oh, please, just, just <laughs> come to me, come to me, come, please tell me you want a hollow scan, you know, because we wanted to photograph them and give them that like... A little bit that, of extra time. Yeah, that and, special photo yeah. that like we could do so, such cool things with them. They look so cool, you know, and really kind of, again, play into that story of, of, you know, who their character is and what they're doing on yeah. Batu. So. What is something you wish you knew going into either your college program or going into the Disney company itself? I guess it's not so much my college program or the company, but my role mm -hmm. uh, with PhotoPass is how exhausted it makes you. Um, I am one of those people that will do whatever I can to get the shot, um, but I leave every day <laughs> when I'm shooting, I leave absolutely just spent. Exhausted. Oh, just absolutely spent, especially in the summertime. Oh, my gosh. Like, in the summertime, you're just melting to that pavement. I mean, it is, it is gnarly hot out here. We'll go in and I'll, I'll do my best that I can, but it's, yeah, the exhaustion. Just you're, you're putting in a day and you are drinking that water. <laughs> now, would, yeah, honestly, you have to. Would you recommend PhotoPass? Because a lot of people think it's more of the glamorous roles. I get that most of the time is I wish I got PhotoPass for my program. I, I think it depends on what your purpose is is here like are you here just to have like the summer job where you just kind of live it up you know and there's nothing wrong with that at all like by all means come down have fun you get yeah. into the parks in your off time for free really live it up um if that's the case sure come come join photo pass if you're here because you want to eventually um be an animator for for disney or something like that something that's not related to like photography or, or kind of you know growing in that kind of type of role then maybe PhotoPass isn't the, the place you would kind of want to start. Yeah. Um, but it really just depends. I know that we've had fine artists come through uh, in PhotoPass. Uh, I believe you were one of those people because you're an art. You're an art major. Um, my major was um, 
graphic design and photography with, you know, my, my passion was photography. So I, it was exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it was what um, I wanted to. But I think it really just depends on what it is you're looking to do and what you're wanting to do here. Um, and it's not all glamorous all it's, the time. It's not. No, not at all. You know, they, they're, you know, with any job, it's what you make it. I think yeah. uh, ultimately it's, you could be literally anywhere in the company. Uh, I know that there's a lot of like children's activities and custodial and all these, you know, other jobs that, you know, people like, like yearn for but I think at the end of the day when you're here it's it's what you make of the program yourself regardless of where you go um, I would recommend photo pass to people who have a passion for photography who have a passion for creating um, and that's probably the most I would say there because other than that I don't I'm not sure because this is really the only other thing I've ever funny. done <laughs> so, um, but yeah I would say if you have a passion for creating you know definitely hope that you know try to get photo pass uh, and then just see where that path leads you what is one regret or hardship you've experienced while being at Disney? Uh, I regret nothing, first <laughs> off. I am a person who believes that, you know, regrets don't exist for me. Uh, they, everything leads to growth, whether it's a good or bad experience. Um, what was the second part? What was the or hardship? hardship? Um, I miss my friends and family back home. That's probably a big one. While I've made, you know, great friends here, some of, that would I, uh, of whom I would you consider family, um, you know, there's no, there's no replacing the ones back home. So that, that kind of, you know, gets hard. Um, but other than that, you know, there's, there's always new people to meet. There's always new experiences to be had. Um, it's just, you know, getting enough energy to go out there and do it <laughs> at <laughs> the end fair. of the day. Yeah. If you could go back and relive one day or moment, not change anything, just relive it either on your program or just while you've been at Disney, one day, man, I, I don't know if I, if I can answer that one, if I could relive one day, mm -hmm. can I go with experience? You could do experience. Yeah. Oh man. The, the <laughs> first time, I mean, it, there's a lot of things I really loved when I first started here. Just the amount of wonder that's here when you first get here. Mm -hmm. I grew up on Disney. So being out here and finally seeing how everything works, works. I think, is, is really interesting to me because I'm a huge nerd. I don't know why. I like to see how things I work. I like Ed the, Nerd. Yeah, Ed Nerd. That's a, <laughs> one of my favorite nicknames. Um, I just like to see how things work and how, like, you know, I don't know how the operation, like, you know, goes. But but seeing the behind the scenes of everything and just just my mind being blown at that, I wish I could relive that again. That's a good one, yeah. You know what one. I mean? Yeah. Like that, this being like, man, this is how they do this, or this is how they do that. It's, oh, it's so cool seeing this. Yeah. Like the Halcyon, to go back on the Halcyon. Walking through that ship for the first time, I was like, oh, dude, this is this is wild. Next level. This that is just crazy. absolutely wild. Um, the first, you know, my first few days photographing Galaxy's Edge and seeing how all that stuff worked and just seeing, it, you know, cool. people get excited, you know, and it's just, I don't know, that, that never gets old, seeing people get excited about, you know, because everybody's here to have fun. It's, yeah. it's just, it's just, I don't know, it, I can gush about this all day. But, yeah, I think at the end of the day, to answer your question, um, <laughs> seeing how everything worked and how everything operated and just having that, like, that wonder because everything was so brand new and it was just so cool to kind of experience everything for the first time as, a, as an employee in PhotoPass. That's a good answer. Character that specifically, answer. that's what I think of a lot. Like characters the first time, like, working that you worked with, like, with characters. Yeah, working with Sorcerer I was gonna, Mickey. Was that like a big that thing was, for you? That was not. I was so anxious. <laughs> I was freaking. <laughs> oh, I was so scared. I was like, I was like, oh man, these are the things that the families come for. They want these shots with these characters. So you so they like have to felt like a definite like responsibility to capture oh, yeah. those moments. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure that every person that comes through my line has. The best a shot experience. they're like oh yeah that was fun oh man that's such a good shot that he got you know i want them to leave with something because at the end of the day <laughs> sorry i get choked up talking about this but Aww. at the end of the day i have photos that I, um i look back with my family <laughs> and i really like that so it's <laughs> it's a very <laughs> personal connection for me <laughs> um to make sure i give guests that same kind of uh that level because these are things that are going to be in weddings and they're going to be on you know um Work Christmas desks cards, and, yeah. and yeah, Christmas cards and yeah. stuff like that. So, um, I want to make sure I give that type of thing back to the guests when they come through. With that going off that one, what's <laughs> yeah. like, dang. how dare you? <laughs> like, oh shoot, what's the best like heartwarming experience you've had with a guest? It could be capturing oh, a man. moment. There's too. way too many to name. I have done so many things like with so many different groups of people. Um, I've done engagements. I've done, you know, unfortunately farewells are, you know, one of the things that unfortunately I've had to photograph here. Um, but one of my, I think my favorite things is, is seeing the ones that have like the, um, I beat cancer. 
I yeah. love like this is their celebration, you know. It's like you know, I'm, I'm just Those I'm in, I'm like yo, buckle up, you know. I'm, I'm throwing everything I got at you. I'm making sure this is like going to be the best you know photo pass experience that I can possibly make for you. Um, those are the kind of things that I really like to do. Little kids are always a lot of fun when they're dressed up. Oh, it's, it's just so it's fun. so much fun to kind of like kind of storyline with them and see what we can kind of come up with with that. I really enjoy that. Have you worked in every park? I don't even know if you professional question or just personally. Like I have myself a shot in every oh, park. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> as a cast member. Okay, as a cast member, uh, I have not shot in every park. Really? I have not. I have not done anything in. Animal King, well, hold on. Hold on. It's the, it's the butt. <laughs> the butt keeps talking to us. Uh, so as a cast member, I have not, I, okay, it's, it's kind of a weird question. Remember how we talked earlier about those branches? Yeah, yeah. Technically, technically, I have, I have photographed in every single part. Okay, okay. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I know for a fact Epcot because of Run Disney. Right. I've I know been you through just there. I've done through Epcot and Run Disney. Like a couple um, weeks ago, right? Magic Kingdom. I've done Magic Kingdom. I've done. Uh, well, I've done Magic Kingdom with Capture Your Moments as well. That's oh, cool, that's how cool. you know we go over there and we get our training over there too. Um, so I've done that for sure. Studios is my home park. Um, Epcot I've done with Run Disney, and Animal Kingdom I have with also Run Disney. It was a cast. Oh, okay, cool. It was a cast event. Oh, that's fun. So that's that's where I've gotten those. But so have I done like official photo working pass. photo pass shifts there? No, but I have been in the park set up in some way taking pictures of uh, guests or cast. Okay. okay. And Hollywood Studios was still your favorite? Or would you ever transfer? I, would, I also... will never leave studios. Yeah, okay. I have no interest in leaving studios. I'm just comfortable there. I can always pick up in other parks too, which is another thing. You can always branch out and pick up at other parks once you get fully trained. That's so it's, true. you know... Really, this is the sky's limit. But yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever probably leave studios just because of how grounded I've become in that in that uh, environment. Mm -hmm. um, that's not to say that I won't, probably won't. If they ask me to go work something over at Magic Kingdom or yeah. Animal Kingdom or whatever it is, um, I would say no. Like, of course, I like a challenge. I would I would do almost anything they want me to do as far as you know, photography is related. Um, but I think studios will probably be my forever home. Have you ever picked up at Springs? Disney Springs? I have never picked up at Disney Springs. I forgot. Um, I always forget that that's an option. I think you have to have a different training. Oh, okay. I think. That would make sense. Don't quote it's me. Not, I have no idea. It's not a normal part. Uh, We've heard where you're at now in the company. Where are you wanting to go? That is a great question. What do I want to be when I grow up? That's what that question yeah, equates yeah. to. Um, I am not sure. I know I want to keep photographing for the Disney company. It's what I love to do. It's what I enjoy doing. I love to create. Um, it doesn't usually get old to me. It's just something I can come in and be like, all right, what are we going to do for today? Yeah. I have goals that I I want. Like, there's one of the, one of the goals was, to, you know, to get, like, a photo of the month. Yeah. That, yeah, that was, like, one of those things. So, like, these, these things like that that I want to do. Like, one of the things that's really high up on my list is to have something that I photographed be in some sort of print material. Oh, that's for cool. Disney, That'd whether be cool. it be a magazine, whether it be a brochure, whether it be a park map, I don't care what it is, but I want something that I've taken to be somewhere in print on the Disney property. That's a cool one. That's that's probably one of my bigger ones. So I'm not really worried about the money and, and the licensing and all that stuff. Yeah. Sure, money's nice. Yeah. I'll take it. You know, if you, <laughs> anybody wants to throw me some some G's for some photos I've taken, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but now it's just about having fun and, and you know sharing my talents i don't know yeah with, uh with other people you know what i mean so. fun fact not even fun fact just common knowledge about edward he's like one of the best photographers and i will have a lot of people that will re agree with that oh, stop. <laughs> so if you see edward in the parks run get in his line <laughs> i'll <laughs> we'll say i shots. <laughs> i have experience i've done this for uh, i picked up a camera when i was 21 i'm th about to be 37 you're so old. I know. I can't math very well. Um, but that's a long time. So I have a lot of experience doing a lot of things. I went to school for it. Um, so I, I do really enjoy what I do. Again, I love creating, you know, different kind of shots for people. Uh, it's just it's just fun to me. It's just yeah, I go to work and I have fun and sweat a lot. And that's really what it goes down to. <laughs> but you stay positive. I do. It's and a good time. I, I, gen I genuinely good. enjoy what I do. You know, yeah. each guest is just, it's just a whole other experience, you know. Um, some of them are celebrating, you know, Engagements, they just asked in front of the castle, you know, anniversaries. There's How many proposals something. have you shot? Oh, oh, I don't know. A lot. A lot? I would say, I would say at least, I would say somewhere over 10, maybe. 
Okay. Over a dozen at least. I think I've had two. Yeah. And one of them, no, no, literally I was there, it was like my first month in Galaxy's Edge, and some like entertainment leader came up to me and they're like, can you shoot this for us? And I was like, please no. And I was like, Edward's up there. Let me take you to him. He'll get, he'll do it. He's the one. <laughs> yeah, so they'll, I uh, that off they'll you. approach you for the, for those things every now and again. They're like, oh, you know, can you, would you, you know, mind doing this? We've had proposals all over the park. Um, I remember my first proposal, usually, I say usually because it hasn't always happened. Uh, usually they'll tell you. Yeah. Like, hey, just so you know, I'm about to propose. And you're like, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and you're starting to, start to panic and stuff. Um, this individual did not. It was the first ever proposal. And um, I'm doing my standard thing. He's like, oh, you know, big hugs together, look at each other. Oh. And then he just pops out on me. And I'm like, oh, I'm just like, I'm just firing away. I don't know how many pictures I took, but they had plenty to choose from. Let's oh, go with that. Oh, that's good. At least um, you were ready. <laughs> that was man. But usually, yeah, they'll be like, hey, I'm about to, I'm about to get on a knee and, and propose. Nice. That's always uh, a better way. He disagrees. How was it going into the college program at, like, a later age? <laughs> so, <laughs> I shared a room with a 22-year-old guy. And you were how old at the time? 34. 34, okay, yeah. Um, it was kind of like taking a step back into my college years, because technically, it's exactly what it was. Yeah. Um, I was working so much, I it it didn't bother me at all. Okay. Um, I would literally go home. And I would get like food and then I would sleep. Yeah. And that was my, that was my life. Um, I would go to the gym every now and again. Uh, I would go to Universal Studios sometimes. Uh, I loved the bus systems. I thought that was going to be the worst part of me living at, you know, the, the Flam- housing. Did yeah, you Flamingo. Have Flamingo. Yeah, I had Flamingo. Yeah, okay. um, and the, the buses were awesome. You just yeah. get there early, get on the bus, and you're just chilling. Playing on your phone, listening to music, jamming you get to out, zone whatever. Out, yeah, you know, um, I love those buses. I wish I could have them now. <laughs> so <laughs> having to commute, you know, thirty-five minutes to work every day, um, it was just easy to sit down and just chill. One of my favorite memories was I had to go to the Magic Kingdom for capture your moment, mm-hmm. and the, my favorite part about it was getting on that bus and going all the way to the back. And it would be, like, super air-conditioned, but then the back was warm. Like, the back, like, the oh, wall. Yeah. And I would just lay against the wall, and I would just go <laughs> right back to sleep. Um, that was one of my favorite things uh, about my CYM shifts was, was being able to just... Were they, like, morning shifts? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so capture, it was really Capture cold. shifts are super early in the morning, um, especially if you have to use the bus system to get out there. Um, but, yeah, it was... <laughs> It was my favorite thing. As weird as it sounds, it was my favorite thing. No, I completely thing. believe that. 100%. Because um, I would just zombify my way to the the bus and just lay there. And I'm like, all right, we're cool. I'll, I'll get off whenever I feel it stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, I, I enjoyed that aspect. And the Flamingo Crossing is very nice. It's so nice. It is very nice. They have a fully stocked gym. They've got food in the common areas through like vending machines and stuff you can check out things right down the road to target like it's really nice it's really nice it's, it's secure like they have security yeah. out there i mean it was again just just very very nice you paid for it for sure for sure yeah not cheap. but it is nice if anybody is recomm- like thinking about doing the, the college program stay at flamingo crossing honestly 100 percent. stay at flamingo crossing just for the experience alone um, of being involved in this because you can't really escape, right? And you shouldn't want to because this is, you know, the Disney college program. You're um, that, that's a definitely advice I would recommend if somebody's like on the fence of, oh, do I want to share a room? Do it. Just do it. If you, if you get a, if you get a room by yourself, that's cool. If you get a room with somebody else, don't stress. It's, it was not an issue with me. I still see them in the parks every now and again. Nice. We'll say, Hey, what's up? You know, it, it's, it was a very positive experience for me. Even in my old age. Um, <laughs> but no, I would definitely recommend people people give Flamingo a shot. It's, I mean, just super nice. Uh, definitely, definitely, if you're thinking about doing the college program, stay at Flamingo Crossing. It, you'll you'll thank me later, I hope, probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> High I percentage. <laughs> this is our last, like, real sit-down question. But what's the earliest memory you have at Disney? Or of Disney? Oh, man. I think it's hilarious because it's definitely something that just happens to me. I'm a very go-with-the-flow person. Uh-huh. Like, I can do things last minute or I can plan ahead. Yeah. But my after my the, – the day that I was at studios by myself, 
I had just gotten out of training. It was my first official shift by myself. I needed to go drop my stuff over in this area and, and by, I had to navigate backstage to get there. And I had no idea where I, I was. I had gone to this, this area <laughs> once and I saw that the person that was training me was still training other people. Yeah. And I ran up to her and I was like, oh, hey, um, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be. Can you please help me? And, and she started laughing and she was like, where are you supposed to go? I was like, over at this area. And she was like, just go straight through here. Hook a left. You'll be, you'll see it. I said, awesome. Cool. Thank you. I love you so much. Bye. And I, I hurried off. Uh, that's one of my earliest memories at Disney because I was like, man, first day by myself. And I'm always like, hey, uh, help. Help me, please. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Um, and it was uh, sure enough, it was just like a, a left and then a right. And I was there and I was like, okay, well, it wasn't too far off, but I was so concerned with messing it up. That's fair. Um, I and feel like course, there's a lot more stress when you first start because you oh, don't yeah, want yeah. to mess Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, and then it's weird. It's like you'll, you'll get used to, like, where you're going, and you'll be like, how did I ever get lost? Honestly, you yeah. Know? It's, it's just like, oh, like this is, it all looks so yeah. It's easy. Yeah, it's it weird. really is. It's laid out in a very easy-to-understand way. It's just but when you're so new to everything, you know, it, it's easy. You don't you see know. it the same. It's yeah, really it's, weird. It might be even just me overthinking it, you know what I mean? I think if I just poked around by myself, I would eventually found it. Maybe, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I remember this place. It's, it's right here, you know. So. <laughs> What's one memory outside of being a cast member, like, earliest memory, like, as a kid. Oh, at Disney? Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> um, this one's a funny one to me because it's so relatable to me now that I work for the company uh-huh. is I was at the Crystal Palace. I, I think I was four or six, and I remember my parents... I was meeting like Winnie the Pooh or something and my parents told me I couldn't do something and your boy was done. (laughs) I was not having it anymore. Oh no. And I had the worst attitude about all of it and I remember growing up seeing the pictures. Oh my goodness. And sure (laughs) enough, there's little four, whatever, six year old Edward sitting there with Winnie the Pooh just ticked (laughs) off in my face. Just, oh, I was so I was so angry. And you can tell when I chilled out because the last kid, my last picture that I yeah. have is me and I'm just full of joy. So I don't know if I just like got over whatever my parents said um, <laughs> or what. But yeah, that's that's one of my earliest memories. The other one is my fascination with the Haunted Mansion. Uh, okay. I think it really started when I was 14. I was like, man, how did all this stuff work? And it really was like the Haunted Mansion and Pirates were always like tied for me. Yeah. Um, but I really navigated towards the Haunted Mansion more. And since then, man, I buy all their stuff. I just, yeah. I've done the backstage tour with it. I'm so enthralled by everything about the Haunted Mansion, even with like the lore, the storyline, what it was supposed to be originally, how it was built. Um, but yeah, that, and that happened when I was around 14. We came here for a day and that's, that's what that was- I, my fa- my focus was. Dang. That's how it started. That's when the, the it happened. Did you like the movie, Haunted Mansion movie? Uh, I enjoyed the second movie, yes. The newest one. Okay. I really enjoyed. Okay. The first one, absolutely. Ooh. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> okay. Bonus question time. All right, let's hear Lightning it. Let's do round. it. I have how many seconds to answer? Ten seconds. All right. All right, let's do it. Okay, ready? What is your favorite Disney live action movie? Pirates of the Caribbean, no contest. Which one? The first one. First, okay. That's the only right answer. That's a good answer. That's the only right answer. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite Pixar movie? Tangled. That's not... That's I don't right. know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, so, uh, it's, it's, it's weird how my order goes. Tangled, Brave, A Bug's Life, Pirates of the Caribbean, that's it. That's it. That's the whole, that's the answer to every question now. Okay, so Pixar would be brave. Then that's my favorite Pixar movie. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Disney would be, what was your favorite Disney? Tangled? Tangled, yeah. Tangled, Brave's a, a Brave, A Bug's Life. Bug's Life. For the three animated. Okay. Pirates for the live action. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's There's no other live action. I'm like, oh, I gotta go see it again. Who's your favorite character? Jack Sparrow. Why? Jack Sparrow and Scrooge McDuck. So you're open up the can. You're gonna have to give me more than ten seconds, okay? Because I want to okay. be, I want to be stupid rich like Scrooge. I want to be dumb. I want to be expensive. dummy rich like Scrooge McDuck, dude. That's not He's a little greedy. I probably wouldn't be as greedy as Scrooge, but I want to be mad rich like him. I want to have a lucky dime one day and everything. I want all of that, okay? okay? However, I like Jack Sparrow's mentality where all he wants is adventure. Okay. And he also likes Trevor treasure, so. And rum. And rum. He does like rum. So do I, but maybe not as much as him. 
Those are valid. Valid. Okay. What is your favorite Disney souvenir you've ever gotten? Oh, man. That's a rough one. Oh, man. I love this question. So this one's going to be weird, okay? Okay. Because this was passed down to me from my great uncle Ed. Oh, okay. Uh, he died, at, unfortunately, at the age of 95. Oh, wow. But he has a, an original Bendy Mickey Mouse from the 1930s. No! We, it was broken into pieces because... That's a long that's time. That's a long yeah. time. Yeah, it's almost 100 years old. Oh, my gosh. Um, but sure enough, we, we were able to get it re restored. Yeah. And we it now lays in a shadow box forever oh, yeah. in the upright position. Um, but that is probably my favorite souvenir, I guess, technically. Yeah, that counts um, as a souvenir. But yeah, it's the one of the OG 1930s bendable Mickey Mouse toys that they made in the neat. 30s. That's super cool. What col- is he like in color or is he black and white? Uh, he is in color. He's in yeah, color. Yeah, but he has like that weird like the long the nose big nose little, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting to see how um, they changed. developed the character yeah. as time progressed. It, it's really interesting, but I love his old look. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. I think that's just so interesting, like the history of it yeah. and stuff. Um, but that's that's probably my favorite thing that I, I own. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. What about that you can remember you purchased or your parents purchased? But that you were like really wanted in stores. Oh, man, probably my Trader Sam's mugs. Okay. Man, I love Trader Sam's so much. I do. I wish they made more mugs. I wish they made them every month. I would go broke. <laughs> You'd go broke I so fast. I've got a full first edition set of those bad boys. Yeah. I am such a huge Trader Sam's nerd when it comes to those tiki mugs, and I have no idea why. I contributed to his collection. She did. She hooked me up because I've never been to Disneyland. And they only had the Disneyland. The and they have. One. There are different ones at each. Um, Which is weird. At each park, yeah. Disney World smart, has a couple different ones, uh, and that Disneyland doesn't have, and vice versa. And I got you the like red piranha. Yeah, the red piranha. How I mean, many it, do you have? Oh man, I've my room is littered with those bad boys. There's some <laughs> that I had to put in storage. I've got so many. Oh my I mean, gosh. I've got I've got a lot of them. I didn't realize um, there was that many. And it's weird because like I'll 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 trade them out, right? So like if I get one that's like a certain color that yeah. I still like, but then like they make one like blue is my favorite color, they just made a hat box ghost in blue. Oh I will buy that one. Yeah. And then sell the other one. Oh. Interesting. So it's like I'll replace it for the one okay. that I'm gonna keep forever. That's um, interesting. They've been making a lot of blue ones lately. Again, I've been buying those. Oh you like man, the blue those ones? are so oh yeah. They made they they told me I remember one another story is I came to the Polynesian one day just to kind of hang out. And I said, hey, you know, any idea when you're going to get new mugs? Whatever. I was like, oh, there's rumors there's supposed to be like a blue zombie head coming out, but nobody knows, whatever, whatever. I was like, okay, we'll figure it out. It literally came in an hour later. And she, the the woman that was telling me about it, um, I walked back to that. And she was like, hey, 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 look. And she showed me the mug. And I was like, dude, do y'all have them in? And she was like, yeah, we just got them in. I was like, I'll take one. And Dang. I bought it that day. Like, Dang. literally, they what had just the gotten there. I know, right? Like, this, and I had already left, and I just came walking back. And she was like, hey, 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 hey. I was hoping you come back by. They came that's in. They so came nice in. I was like, that oh, she dude. She stopped so, you, though, and remembered. Yeah. That's so No, she cool. remembered me, yeah. yeah. The and it cast was, member. Yeah, yeah, the cast <laughs> member remembered me. And she was like, hey, we were talking about this. And I was like, yeah. And she showed it to me, and I was like, I'm, I'm buying one. I have to have that. That's so cool. I was so pretty. Um, so pretty, my so pretty, pretty glass that I don't even drink out of. It just sits on the shelf. But <laughs> I was going to say, do you get the drinks? In not, just, never. Just I mean, I'll get the lunch. drinks with them for sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I got to see what it tastes like. Yeah. Um, but at, at home, they just, they're just cleaned off and <laughs> put fair. on a shelf. It's just, then, I, then, then when I look at that, I have that memory. You know what I mean? That's fair. Yeah. What's your favorite Disney song? Oh, I don't know this. Well, I don't know the lyrics, but. Just oh, sing it. I think it's "You're Welcome" <laughs> from from Moana. Moana. Yeah, I, I, I think I it really, is your welcome. I really like "You're Welcome." What can I say except "You're Welcome"? Yeah, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know any of the lyrics to those songs. I was just I remember seeing it in theaters, and I was like, "Dude, this is a bop. This is great. This is cool." The Rock sang this. Dude, good for him. Is that where you're going to start singing after, like, you um, take photos with someone? What no. So, fun fact about me is I don't know the the complete lyrics to any Disney song. What about trying to? Tiki Room? No, I, no. There's no way. Heck no. <laughs> Unless they sang Happy Birthday in one of those movies, I don't know. I don't know complete lyrics from start to really? finish. Really? I bet there's no. one. The closest one I have is from a Goofy movie. Oh. Which and it one? was the opening song. Was like uh, they've been laughing since I can remember. Yeah, I, yeah. I know a lot of that one, but I still don't know After it. After today. St- yeah. After today. Yeah, I don't know 
it all. Okay. You know, there are parts of it I'm like, eh, 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 after today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that's that's kind of how it goes with I me. I just watched that movie for the first time. Like, it's a, year a great ago. movie. Um, I love that movie. I just end up like I'll uh, my friends. If you ever uh, talk to them, they'll they'll hear me backstage, and I'll have a song stuck in my head. Yeah. I'll just make up the lyrics. I don't <laughs> care. I'm just like whatever. Um, I'll go work at the D- Disney Juniors, and one of the I think does the Doc McStuff and says, "Water, water, Doc. drink yeah. your water." Because if you don't, it's going to be bad news Arizona. for you. That's how I. That's how I sing it's stuff. Be bad news for yeah, you. Yeah, like drink your water. It's really hot outside. Drink your water. It's super good. Like I mean, that's that's it. That's the song. That. That's how it goes. Yeah. That's the exact lyrics. That's a, that's the lyrics. Those are probably. Them. <laughs> I mean, it means the same thing. Sure. Okay, last one. I'm ready. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best cast gift you've ever gotten? Oh man. It's going to have to be a drawing that this individual made for or she didn't make it for me. She had already done these. Okay. And I got done taking her photos and she pulled out a picture that she drew of Darkwing Duck. And That's I am a huge you. huge she says that because I'm old, but huge <laughs> Darkwing Duck, uh, Tailspin, Gummy Bears, DuckTales. The Afternoon Collection was like, I used to jam to that all the time. And I, I she pulled that out. I was like, dude, that is awesome. And she didn't know you? No, not at all. No, That's just, crazy. Just a random person online. Just, all right, cool, thank you. And she of gave it to me. I was like, oh, it's too. Darkwing Duck. I was like, this is sick. That's and I always so try cool. to like make kind of like a big deal. Yeah. Like when somebody gives me something, I'm like, oh, happy day. <laughs> like, you know, something like that, you know, just something to get them extra. like, to know that, that you know, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause it's, it's a good time. It's, it's fun getting stuff. Um, you know, they've, the, they used to give us a lot of stuff on the house, Yon. They would give us, you know, stuff that they made. Again, like some of the stuff that they make is very, Does very the, intricate. Yeah, one of the. Yeah best gifts I got was in Galaxy's Edge. I took their photos and I was like joking with them like what are you going to give me for a photo? Like ha 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 trading whatever. It's a joke right? Any credits. She Always pulled credits. out a crocheted baby Grogu. <gasps> like a full little stuffy. I was like I'm like, oh, that's cute. And she's like, no, it's for you. I'm like, for me? <laughs> Dude, it, yeah. It's really cool what, what some of the guests will, will make. Um, and that's no pressure for anybody no, listening no. to this to do anything. It's just kind of cool because, I mean, people, well, it's as simple as, you know, drawing a picture of Darkwing Duck to a full crocheted Grogu, you know what I mean? Like, it, it varies. I remember, um, again, like on the house, they, they make these things. A lot of the stuff they make. That's crazy. And it's it's super interesting what, what some of the things will come up. And then some of it's storyline-based. Like, there was one that was like, um, it was like something about, protecting the pork protection group or something like that like <laughs> there's, there's all sorts of stuff that they come up with and it's kind of cool that they try to get you like involved with that with their story in that yeah. way um one person they were from coruscant and they had made things for other citizens of coruscant oh, no and way. so i went with her one day and we were looking for other citizens and i remember i was talking to somebody um, and I was like, oh, where are you guys from? And they're like, oh, we're from the Coruscant system and all that stuff. And I was like, hey, you come with me. You come with me. And I went and found um, that woman who told me she, she had yeah. made stuff for Coruscant. I was like, y'all two should have a conversation. And I walked away. And sure enough, she that was able to so give away cool. some of her stuff. Um, so that kind of that kind of thing is, is is what I like seeing most of. It's like that connection. Because these people didn't know each other. You know what I mean? Like, no, yeah. uh, you know, they didn't plan to meet up here. So, But it was kind of fun to see, you know, them get to come in and, and you know, live that part of themselves. You know, and yeah. something that Disney created. And I think that's really interesting that it developed that kind of culture. Yeah, something you could only It do continues to, to develop that kind of yeah. culture. So I, I really enjoy that. Oh, last lightning question. What's your favorite um, nighttime spectacular Disney <laughs> show? <laughs> I'm such a bad person to do ask Do you even this. have one? I don't know I if don't, you have one. I do you even I'm watch not, those? I'm not, I'm not really, no. So I'm not a show person. I have not seen a lot of the shows what that you, Disney's okay. offers. You want, you, seen, you want to take a shot at which one I probably well, have I haven't ever seen? After. You've seen that, right? I've seen that one, yeah. Okay, haven't seen? So yeah, like, are you talking about shows You've seen the... Fantasmic. <laughs> you haven't seen Fantasmic? I have not. I have, to this day, I have not seen Fantasmic. You worked there. For the first time, I saw the auditorium for the first time this last run Disney event because I was, uh, I was doing some of the marketing shots and I had to go through Fantasmic to get to a, a place I needed to go to. That's the first time I've ever been back that way. I remember. No, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that literally makes sense. Because on the cast preview night, I saw you uh, working at um, SIDS Antiques and Curios. And I'm like, why the heck aren't you out here? I never sign up for those things. 
never sign up for okay, any kind of show it, things it, or it, anything. It doesn't matter. You haven't just nope. I haven't done it. I have not done it. To this day, I have not done it. Why? Do you do not want to? You don't like Disney? I, just have <laughs> I love Disney with every ounce of my soul. I do. It is literally my favorite place on this planet. I'm just not a show person. Go see. There's a lot of shows I haven't seen, dude. Like, if you want to get down this road, the Fantasmic is the one that, that people are shocked about the most. Okay, Happily Ever After and Fantasmic. You Happily just, Ever After, I'm definitely saying. Because I, like I used to make fun of the song a lot. Well, I, I didn't make fun of it. I sang it. Happily ever after. Like, stuff like that. Yeah. If you believe. Is that the one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, that's That it. one's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Okay. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of weird. I get it. <laughs> you know, you just have to see Fantasmic. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like that, even that's you the would, one like, that people, enjoy Fantasmic. I'm sure I would. With the you amount know, of times like I've seen it come across my front. Instagram story. and yeah. I feel like I've already seen it twice. You haven't, you haven't experienced it. Though. I have not experienced it. I know I haven't. Okay, so that's a new new checklist for me to get you to see Fantasmic. That's true. One of these days I will, I swear. It's it's a very low on my priority list of things to do though. If if there happens to be a day that I'm out in studios at night kicking it with some friends or doing whatever it is I'm doing there for whatever reason, I'll go check it out. But you were at studios yesterday. Did you go see Fantasmic? No, because I've seen it a billion times. Irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> That's irrelevant. Well, Edward. Eduardo. Ed nerd. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for being one of the people it takes. Sharing your story and experience and doing what you do to make Walt Disney's dream come true. A reality. Not not come true, but... Maybe both. I don't know. Dream Making his dream become a reality. So, yeah. We well, appreciate thank you for it. having me. It was very, uh, very fun. And I hope your listeners learned something. I think they will. And if not, maybe they laughed or something. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how these things work. I just take pictures. That's what I'm about. But... Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, watch out for Edward in the parks. And have a great weekend, you guys. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a five-star rating, and I'll see you again next week. She's going to check this and think I said something mean or something bad. Mm -hmm.